The Huawei Mate 80 series is shaping up to be one of the most exciting smartphone launches of the year, and not just because of its design or software. The real headline here is the chipset. Huawei is reportedly preparing the most powerful Karen processor yet, and that alone makes this lineup worth paying attention to. For years, the Karen brand has represented Huawei's in-house silicon, competing directly with Qualcomm's Snapdragon and Apple's A-Series. But after the US ban in 2019 cut Huawei off from TSMC, the company's primary chip producer, things got complicated. Huawei's stock of flagship Kirin chips eventually ran out, forcing them to rely on limited options. Yet through internal research and development, Huawei pulled off a comeback with the Mate 60 series, introducing a new generation of Kirin chips with 5G support. That was a turning point, proving Huawei wasn't going to give up on making its own processors. Now, fast forward to the upcoming Mate 80 series. This new flagship lineup is expected to debut with a full upgrade to the Kirin platform. The Mate 70 series came with the Kirin 9020. So many believe the next step will be the Kirin 9030, though Huawei hasn't confirmed the exact naming. What we do know is that the next Kirin chip will bring a redesigned architecture aimed at improved performance and efficiency that means faster speeds, smoother multitasking, and likely better power management across the board. One of the key improvements rumored is a brand new cooling system. High-performance chips tend to generate a lot of heat, which can cause throttling and reduce overall efficiency. Huawei wants to solve this problem by introducing a thermal system that maintains performance without overheating protecting internal components and extending device lifespan. If this works as promised, it could put the Mate 80 series in a stronger position against rivals like Samsung's Galaxy S series and Apple's iPhones. But the processor isn't the only big story. Huawei is also expected to push camera innovation once again. The Mate lineup has always been known for its strong photography features, and this time, the Mate 80 series could take it even further with enhanced photo quality and a more powerful zoom system. Considering how much emphasis consumers place on smartphone cameras today, this upgrade could play a huge role in how successful the Mate 80 series becomes. On the software side, Huawei is preparing to ship the Mate 80 series with Harmony OS 6 right out of the box. Harmony OS has become Huawei's signature platform, gradually evolving with every release. The new version is set to bring exclusive features that will first debut on the Mate 80 and then roll out to other devices later. This is a strategy Huawei has used before, launching cutting-edge features with its Mate series before expanding them to the wider ecosystem. Timing, however, remains a bit of a mystery. Reports suggest that Huawei is preparing to launch a triple-foldable phone next month, which could shift the Mate 80 announcement to the fourth quarter of the year. That means consumers might need to wait a little longer, but the anticipation is building steadily. Official confirmation of the exact date hasn't been shared yet, but Huawei is clearly planning something big for its flagship lineup. It's worth remembering that the Mate series has always been at the heart of Huawei's smartphone innovation. Even when facing restrictions, Huawei continued to push boundaries in design, performance, and camera technology. The Mate 80 series looks set to continue that tradition, carrying the company's most powerful Kirin chip yet, a re-engineered cooling system, major camera upgrades, and the latest version of Harmony OS. If all of this comes together as expected, the Mate 80 series could mark a major step forward for Huawei in the global smartphone race. It won't just be about survival after years of sanctions, it will be about reclaiming a place at the top. Table of smartphone innovation, for users, that means more power, more stability, and a smoother experience whether gaming, shooting photos, or multitasking across apps. And if the rumors of stronger zoom and better overall camera performance hold true, the Mate 80 series could be one of the best photography-focused smartphones of the year. Huawei's path hasn't been easy since 2019, but the Mate 80 series may prove that persistence pays off. The question now is how this device will stack up against competitors like the iPhone 17 series and the upcoming Galaxy S26 lineup, with its most advanced Kirin chip, Harmony U6, and an upgraded camera system, Huawei clearly wants to make a statement and it seems like the Mate 80 is the phone that will deliver it. So in short, the Mate 80 series is expected to bring three major things, the most powerful Kirin chip ever, big camera improvements, and Harmony U6 with exclusive new features. Add in a new cooling system designed for long-lasting performance, and this could easily be one of Huawei's strongest flagships yet. The only thing left to know is the launch date and final specs. Until then, all eyes are on Huawei, 
waiting to see how the Mate 80 series will redefine its position in the smartphone market.